What's going on, football fans? And welcome back to another episode of Breaking the Birds. This time we made it to Andre Dillard, who is taking over for Jordan Mailata at the left tackle position as Mailata is rehabbing or getting back from a sprained MCL. Now, we haven't seen Andre Dillard play football or playing a real football game since uh, November 2019, where he was at left tackle and then he had one stint at right tackle. We all know how that went. Uh, so, really exciting to see how he did here in this game. So, let's just get right to the tape. So, the first play we got is against Randy Gregory. And that's a matchup I was looking forward to seeing because uh, in the past, Andre Dillard has been struggling a lot with getting pushed back and out of balance against bull rushes. And Gregory did a very good, uh, very good job against uh, Jordan Mailata at the end of last season where he had a bonkers game. So, really look, look forward to that uh, in this one. The first rep here, uh, Randy is going to go for the edge. And then he's going to counter move inside, kind of cl uh, club inside right there, trying to dip under it, and then counter move to the outside here with a spin move. Now, the footwork of Andre Dillard is very good here. He has um, explosive get off to begin with, so he's in a good position to take on the initial punch. There, first punch. Afterwards, when he tries to go inside, he flips his hips a little bit so that he is facing downfield, and he, can, he has a better control with his hands off Gregory. Then when he's push, uh, go. When he's trying the spin move counter to the outside, he replaces his hands, flip his, flips his hips once again, flip his hips there, flip him again, and then replace the hands and then drive him upfield. Very good rep for Andre Dillard there to begin with. Now we have him against Micah Parsons. So a little bit more speed, maybe a little bit less strength. Uh, and Micah is going to uh, is gonna go for the edge here. He's lined up in a wide nine, so it's key for Andre Dillard to take the appropriate amount of kick steps as he's coming back here. And as soon as he, ha he he keeps a good square on him, keeps a good angle on him, has him right in front of him the entire way, then as soon as Micah commits fully to the uh, to the edge, he's going to flip his hips and then drive him upfield. Very good rep as well. At the goal line now, Micah Parsons once again here, he's going to try the bull rush on, on Dillard this time. He sets up well, two kick steps, gets his hands placed well on him, and has him in full control uh, and keeps holding on. And that is, that is key when you're going against Michael Parsons because he's an explosive guy so he can easily counter move to either side but if you get him in a firm grip tight to your body where he's placed right in front of you so it's not holding you you've done well another rep against Michael Parsons once again at the uh, at the wide nine position here so take the appropriate amount of steps keep him right in front of you wait for him to do anything here and as soon as he engages g give him a punch don't overextend your upper body just keep keep well um Keep balanced and the butt down. Take the appropriate amount of, uh, of kick steps and don't wait for him to make his move here. Good anticipation by Andre Dillard. So in this rep, Micah is going to drop into pass protection. So we're going to have uh, two rushers here in the A and the B gap. And and Dillard does a good job here realizing, all right, he's bailing. And then coming in here and helping Isaac on uh, on 97 deliver a punch to him. And then taking over on Light and Van Der Esch. Let's just take a look at that one more time without me pausing. Because <clears throat> I like the strike that he delivers to 97 here. Boom. Give him a good shove there, and then take over your next guy. We'll find detail on this play. I've been saying appropriate amount of snaps here when you're going against the wide nine guy. You want to keep him right in front of him. What happens when you don't do that, and when you overextend to the outside, is that you you leave the inside open. The defense man will see that and go, bang, got my sack, let's go. So he utilizes that here to his advantage, Andre Dillard does. And so he's going to take those wide st wide steps here and leave it open. Say, you go inside try to beat me inside i'm doing um, this is my mistake you can go inside as soon as he does that oh it's running back screen and dillard has a much easier job of sealing off micah to the uh to the inside on third down here this is not a designed rollout although you'll see hurt scramble out the pocket very quickly here he's going up against randy gregory in the wide nine technique and so he's taking that he's taking a very good angle on him he's rushing straight up uh, straight up field so you want to take some wide deep um kick steps here to begin with then good contact on him initially here keeping his angle on a primary upfield angle here so uh so when rander is is kind of trying to, to counter move here and ripping under him he's in full control of him can just drive him upfield and if hurts would have stayed in the pocket uh he would have had a good pocket to work with there split zone to the left side here um, not that big of a push from Andre, uh, Andre Diller, but it gets the job done here. Very good rep here. Smooth footwork as he's getting depth here against the wide nine. Uh, and number uh, 97 here. He's getting to the edge there. Has him in full control. Good hand, uh, hand placement on him. An extension of the hands without, without getting uncontrolled in his upper body. Really nice aggressive rep here against the defensive end uh, to the outside. Shoots up for him. Takes a wide outside step. Really gets good, good power in his punch here. A good position of his hands on the shoulder and drive him upfield. 
comes out well here on a designed running back uh, swing, and he becomes the lead blocker out here. Good speed for a left tackle. We we know he has that, um, and becomes the lead blocker down there downfield, um, and hits a couple guys there to finish the play. Nothing too fancy here. Um, he's going up against Micah. Good angle on him initially. Get your hands on him, and then good footwork to go from inside outside while keeping the hands on him and controlling him. Another really good rep here against Randy Gregory. Lined up uh, in six tech right across uh, from the tight end here. And he's going to commit to the outside. Good contact with him initially. Put, punches him upfield. Turn the hips. And then drive him downfield there. Let's take a look at one more time without me pausing. Good initial punch. And then drive with the hands there. Good job. Going against uh, Terrell Basham here. Uh, in the wide nine, and Terrell's primary move when I've seen him play is um, is bull rush, and so it becomes a good challenge for uh, Randy Dillard to go up against that. Really good hand placement. Hat is a lot lower than it was when we, last week when we saw him play in 2019 in the left tackle position. And then he uses the power of the defensive end to transition a little bit upfield, and he can drive him upfield there. That's a good rep. This time he loses the defensive end a little bit. Um, good technique up to the point where they're at the peak uh, upfield. So right here, um, you want it to turn their hips either a little bit faster or a little bit earlier, and then you drive him upfield instead of um, letting him go when he's getting to the edge. So right there, turn him at this point so that you can follow him through to the edge. Because what happens otherwise is that you lose him a little bit here, and then he can dip inside and get in there for, um, for the QB hurry. Love this rep here against Randy Gregory. Uh, another of these quality reps against a really good pass rusher. He gets out there um, quickly, explosive step to the outside, and has his feet settled nicely as he's taking him on right here. And Gregory tries to deal with a little bit of a um, of a bull rush here, but the initial punch from Andre Dillard is, is, is really good. So you can extend him a little bit and has him in, in good control here, and then plant the feet, seal the anchor, and has him in control. So that's a very good way uh, of taking on the bull rush there from Andre and success in an area that he's been uh, struggling with in the past. Going against Micah Parson, who's lined up in the wide nine, and he has a really good technique here. I, really, I like his footwork because here first, Micah is going to figure a little inside and then go out. Then he gets his hands on him, and he has him in a good position to drive him upfield. Then Micah tries a counter spin move here. And the, the footwork from Andre is, is very good at that point. He's like He has him in, tr in control enough so he can uh, sort of s slide step a little bit with him downfield again. So up there, and he has him in control. Good footwork to get up the field. Another good rep here. Another stun for the Cowboys defensive line here to the left side, where we're going to have the defensive end crash inwards. So this is what we call the tuck game, where the outside comes in, and then the, out the inside is going to loop around him. And what I like about it, <clears throat> two things. The initial punch on the defensive end is, is, is strong. And he, he makes it easier for Selmalo to, to take over uh, to take over the defensive end. And then quickly comes outside here. Good footwork. That back foot gets planted well. And so he's in control to take over 97 when he's coming in there on the stunt. In the fourth quarter now, and you can tell he got a little bit more com um, comfortable and confident as the game went on. See right here, he has an arm... Um, on Randy Gregory going against Nate Herbig here to help him out. Then he's taken on 93 well, anchors well with the feet at the um, at the point here down the edge. So he has a good control of his own guy while also helping out Nate Herbig. Very good rep here against uh, 93, who's in a wide nine. He's going to go upfield initially. And Dillard relevantly travels with him here with the kick steps. And then he's going to go inwards. And that is the... The position they end up in is exactly what happens when you're taking the right angle and not taking too many kick steps, not taking too few, obviously, and leaving the uh, the edge susceptible. Is that when the defensive end stops and you're right in front of his face, that's when you know you've you've um, you've put yourself in a really good position to succeed, and that you take a that you've taken a good angle on him. Good footwork against Micah Parson, who initially is uh, trying to go inside here. Gives him a good punch as he's coming in there and replaces his hands. Opens up his hips once again. Good footwork as uh, Micah is trying to counter move to the edge. Has him in full control to drive him downfield. Here, um, Nate and Andre do exactly what they what they had to do on the other rep here. Where you got the you got the tick game once again. Inside 59 is going to come out. Herbig exactly like we talked about. Give him a powerful punch so he's easier 
for Andre Dillo to pick up. And then Herbig uh, takes on 93. Wells is coming in there. <clears throat> Actually, kind of swings him down there. That could have been could have been called a holding. But the uh, but the punch here from Herbig outside there makes it very easy for for Dillard to take him over, uh, rather than the other rep where he gets no power on him at all, and then um, Dillard has to come in and catch him in the B gap. So in conclusion of the tape here on Andre Dillard, I think it was very promising, and I was in, impressed by what I saw from him. I did not expect this level of play. I think he was one of the better offensive linemen uh, in that game. Um, in terms of some of the things he struggled with in the past, and we mentioned the, the taking on bull rushers, I think he played with a lot lower hat. He had his butt closer to the ground, and when he was being hit with bull rushers, he had a much more natural way of stepping back um, with uh, with his feet to sort of take the momentum away from the defensive ends. The footwork has always been there, and he keeps utilizing that well and, and, can, and can lock on a, a rusher and and switch his feet and his hip uh, nicely to to take on counter moves. So all in all, very impressive performance um, against the Dallas Cowboys.